Steve, we, we doing okay? You got this? All right. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a great, wonderful day, or had a great, wonderful day. Getting back out here on the mill that has been kind of sidetracked for a while because you can kind of see we got a little cover kind of packed behind it, and I had to get everything leveled and kind of shoved it up a little bit. So we're going to test it out back after getting it all reset back up and cover over it. Cover's been working pretty good, keeping the rain and everything off instead of just putting a tarp over it. Off the head. Not so much the tracks, but... Yeah. So we're going to knock out these really heavy oak logs from the tree that was over there by the shop that was getting a little bit on the iffy side that we took down, I don't know. Too long ago. Oh yeah, it's been a while. But we finally got it chopped up, and I got a project that I want to use them for. So I'm going to try to cut them into about two inch thickness. These are five foot long. It's uh, white oak. Um, five foot long A for the project, and B because I don't think the tractor could lift anything out of here yeah, longer. Yeah, I tried. I've got one log over there, about ten feet, but it's kind of on the skinny end. And it, it skinnies out, and the tractor barely moved it. So I was like, well, I'll put it, I'll cut them down, because I need about five feet for what I'm using it for. I'll tell you this. At an angle, the tractor will not pick it up out of a little bitty hole. No. On level ground, though, it... This worked out pretty good. It, a lot better than I thought. It did pretty decent. I've got, just in case, this uh, couple of other ones I think are a little heavier than this one. Yes. This one is, what did I say, about 18 inches this one way and roughly about 20 inches the other way. So we got the HM-122, HM supposed to cut up to 22 inches. We're going to find out how much we're going to be able to do it because I'm pretty much maxing it out on those other ones because I think they're about 22 inches. Yeah. So. But we'll bring you along for the other project in another video. Until then, we're going to get this one sawed up. Hopefully, it doesn't give us any problems. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't give us any problems. And um, I'm really hoping it's going to work out for this other project that I've been wanting to uh, finish up for uh, too long also. Back to our finishing project series could have been sitting there for two years now I'm guessing we'll see we, we're getting him back on track this is beautiful though
Oh, that turned out to be some pretty, pretty, pretty wood. Wow. I got... I really need it for this project, I think, because I think it should last, like, for a really long time. But... You want to use it for something else. I should be able to get used... I've got four of these five-foot sections. So... I think I can get away with just only needing two of these logs, and I can save the other two. Cause man, Goodness. man, that'd make a nice, really nice table, wouldn't it? Gorgeous. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Couple of pointers I came out with. I only, when I bought the saw, I only got just the regular blades with General it. General purpose. I didn't get, I got the soft, uh, softwood blades. They make like a softwood blade and a hardwood blade. Now I've heard some people tell me you should just go ahead and buy hardwood blades from the get-go because you know, they'll still cut softwood. Um, you know. But this is what it came with? Um, well no these are the ones I bought. Oh. Yeah I didn't buy the I should have bought hardwood but I've got so many little pines and stuff out here I didn't think I needed it and obviously Pr pretty much cedar pine and sweet gum and the cedar is kind of hard so i should have got hardwood blades i'm going to do that the next time this blade could be a little dull so i had to kind of if you push it slow it'll make it through it um so there there's one point just probably just get you some hardwood blades that way you're you're always prepared yeah uh second is is if you're a little little valve is messed up on yours to where it doesn't work quite right for the water order a new one because mine was just pouring out water left and right <laughs> and i can't get it fixed i just need to get a new valve uh and third we've actually talked about that problem before and you haven't done it yet you haven't ordered it uh and, oh and third um you know it says up to a 22 inch log ah, really 20 inches is what I'm 22, finding. 22, but 20 if you want to use the stabilizer bar. Yeah, I mean, if you really want to get it all locked in there, 20 inches is probably about what you want to really put on this thing, um, is what I'm kind of seeing. It's still one of our I, best investments. I could be doing it wrong, but, I mean, golly, I mean, you just think about it. I just cut one, two, three, four, five, six, six two-inch thick, five-foot, right 15-inch wide, pieces of oak and then I still have a little piece left over it's about two and a half inches uh, a little topper piece uh, probably make a nice little pretty bench uh, later on so I mean I guess technically I got seven two inch pieces out of it it is beautiful and I know he doesn't want to use it for the project that we're trying to finish but because it's the oak and I, I think it should hold up for a long time if I use it it's gonna work for what we're needing it for and he has plenty left to do whichever yeah to try to play with some other stuff um i'm still debating too on my next project if maybe i shouldn't have made them 15 inches wide maybe i should have gone with like 12 inches you know he can cut them in half if he wants to put space in between them um i could probably just do that too later uh so on the next yeah. log i do might make them a little thinner uh not as wide or I may just, you know, do whatever. So, but anywho, that was like I said, a couple of little tips I have on this. I mean, like I said, I can, I can cut it. Just you just gotta go slow, because you'll hear your, you'll hear it bog down. Because mm -hmm. if you're trying to push through it too tight, and I might need a new blade on it too. I mean, both could be either or. So I'm gonna check out this blade, put a new one on, see what on the next log what it does. So if it does better. I'll leave that somewhere down, I guess, in the comments that sure. it, it works better that way. That way. All right. Thanks again for coming along. I hope you all have a great and wonderful one. Y'all be careful. See you next time. Take care. Yeah, that's pretty. God, it's gorgeous. That's it's dirty. Good. Yeah, it can even hold you up. <gasps> oh! Wow. Really? I love it.